Hi, and welcome to The Perm Show. I'm Gail Langner, and today I'm here with Julie and Linda from Caldwell Banker Preferred Partners, and they sponsor the Citywide Garage Sale. And how many years, Linda, how many years have you been doing the garage sale? I would say it's probably 10 years now that we've been doing this. Really? Well, yeah. explain for those of us that, that don't know anything about it, give, give us an idea of what that, what's involved in that. Well, we want people that are having a rummage sale to come in and register their sale. And we make a map and a list of the people that are having a sale. Mm -hmm. And that would qualify them for some prizes. And we give them a little gift bag like this. So if I'm going to be having a garage sale myself, Mm -hmm. So I would come to Caldwell Bankers yep. on Main Street. What's your address here? 235 West Main Street, All right. across from the post office. Okay. okay. And then I would register. Yep. And that would get me on a map, correct? Right. That's right. Okay. And then last year we had probably about 45 registered rummage sales. And when they register, they pick up this little goodie bag, and we give them a sign that Julie has over there. Okay. And, <laughs> and then that qualifies them for some prizes. Okay. And so what's in the goodie bag? In the goodie bag, we just have some water for the day of the sale, some barrel of fun chips, and a cold wool banker clippy, and just some goodies for them. It's like balloons. a balloons, yep, right? Yeah, balloons for their sign if they want. Oh, and, my gosh. Yep, that yep. is great. Yeah. Well, I also understand that you have prizes, right? Yes, correct. So for everyone that registers for the garage sale to be on the map and so on, then they, they're actually registering for prizes, They're right? registering for prizes for um, each household. And then we draw on the 23rd, the day of the rummage sale. So we'll draw here at the office three, um, three, prize, three prize winners, and we'll go deliver those um, a little bit before noon that day. So. so they're going to come in, they're going to get their goodie bag, they're mm -hmm. going to register, they get a sign, they get a sign, and then they're going to be on a map. Correct. And then well, how will people get the maps then? They can stop by here. We're open, so they can pick them up here. If we are not here, um, and that happens occasionally, we're not here, we have a flyer box outside so you can grab them. Okay. And we start distributing the maps on Friday. The last day to register is the 20th of June, and we start distributing on Friday. Those maps. Okay. All right. And then I heard you talk a little bit earlier about you even, generally it's a hot day. You've got some, some ice water out there for people. Is we there... do. When it's been warm out, we've had some um, buckets out there of bottled ice water. And so people can just pick those up. We, we give those away. So that oh, day. that's nice. Yeah. That is really yeah. nice. All right. So the day of the sale is? June 23rd. June 23rd. And do, are there hours on that or? Pretty much people it's, may set their own hours? Or? People set their own hours, and so there's a lot of people that have their sale on Friday and Saturday both, and, mm -hmm. and that we welcome that, so we will put that on the, on the map as well. So oh. the times that they have it. Really? Mm -hmm, and their address. And that is great. So if it's Friday and Saturday both. Well, what if they're outside of town a little bit? Would that we do be go okay? outside a little bit, and Linda does the map, and so she'll have areas um, on the map pointing that there's three or four out on 78 or north on Highway 8. Um, out that direction. So you just watch for our signs out there. If it gets beyond the map, watch for the signs. You've got the address, and then sure. we've got balloons too. So okay. So if I were to decide that I wanted to do a garage sale myself, should I call you? Should I? You can call here, and we can register you. But it's easiest if you just come in, and because you can list your items and everything that's on your sale and that okay. sort of thing. So it's easiest to come in because then we'll then you'll get the goodie bag and the sign. Sure. And so it's easiest to stop in if you can. If they had questions, what number would they call? Two one eight three four six seven six seven two. Seven six seven two. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds great, and I know it's going to be hugely successful. Right. Hugely successful. You hope so. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, thanks so much for being on with me today. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to The Perm Show. I'm Gail Langner, and I'm here with Pat Putz, and Pat is in charge of the Cal Miller bike race, oh, right? Yes, that is right. Okay, that's great. Well, we're so thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I understand that you've been doing this, this race for quite a long time. Yes, this race is the 17th annual. Wow. Um, just a little history. This race is named after my late husband, Cal Miller. Mm -hmm. um, for people who don't know, we owned a bike shop in Perm from 1987 to 94. Okay. And he passed away in 94. And mm -hmm. um, so when we had the bike shop, we always did this little race. And so 
when he passed away, it was renamed in his honor. Oh, that's nice. And we've nice. been doing it every year since. Um, great honor to have it. And um, I like to tell people it's kind of the, the best little bike race in Minnesota because <laughs> it's not very large, mm -hmm. but the people who come for the race, um, very, very good, fast riders, um, uh, very, very competitive, but very sportsmanlike also. Okay. All right. Um, what is the date of the race? The race will be Sunday, June 24th, okay. and that is a little different this year. Normally the race is held in, in August, August, yeah, right. but this year we went with it um, in June. The race is held at Zorba's Restaurant, uh -huh. north of Perm. Okay. The race starts promptly at 9 o'clock. Registration is at 8 o'clock. Right. Um, the cost of the race, um, the day of the race, is $28. Okay. Um, they can register beforehand um, online, and that is $25. Right. One thing I should mention, this year for the first time, the race is actually sanctioned by the U.S. Cycling Federation. Okay. So kind of adds some credibility to it. Not, sure. not that it wasn't credible before, <laughs> of course. But um, what that also does is um, gives insurance for the race. All that. And also... Yeah, sure. um, they can register online through the Cycling Federation. Where do they go to register? What is? Do you know what that website yeah, is? Yeah, it's actually, um, I think it's uscf.org. Or if you just Google U.S. Cycling Federation, okay. you'll get to the link for Minnesota and you can go through. Go from and, there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think also the Chamber is going to have a, a link on their page, you know, web page, so right. they can go through there. But I know it's on the calendar for sure. Yes, and, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. So again, what date is that? That is Sunday, June 24th, mm -hmm. starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. It is a 36-mile race. Okay. Um, what they do is they do three 12-mile loops uh, around, let's see, we got their We map. got the map here, we right. We have the map right here. Let's jump up here. Okay, this is Little Pine here. They're actually going to go around Little Pine three times. Okay, um, that should be beautiful, actually. For a, for a person who actually races, there are all right turns. Okay. They like that. All the corners are marshaled. We have the um, Perm Police Auxiliary out there marshaling the corners, plus with crowd control, you know, for, for cars and sure. that. Sure, so. sure. Lots oh, that, that yeah. sounds great. Yeah. Wonderful. So if you register early, then it's it's less. It's right? less, yeah. Um, there's probably also helmets required. That helmets are required. Um, let's see. This might sound a little strange. People might not understand that. But no arrow bars. So they have to be normal racing handlebars. They can't be that kind that you reach out for oh. a triathlon. Okay, which, all right. Um, well, if you're a biker, I'm sure yeah, you're, yeah, you're going to know. Talk. Yeah, that's kind of biker talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. So um, it's in honor of your late husband. That is so yes, nice that you yes. would do that. It's really been an honor to have this race. It's also been, um, there's a bike route through town that is named in honor of Cal also, and that's been an honor. Um, you also mentioned beforehand that we have a little bike club in the area. Yes. I'll do a quick plug for the Lakes Area Bike Club. Okay. We ride on Tuesday nights throughout the area, and that website, you can go to lakesareabikeclub.com, find when we're riding. It's free. Come join us. So anybody that would just be interested, they can and do that. And that, you certainly do not have to be a racer. Okay. <laughs> just a nice, friendly ride, families, whatever. That's good to know. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Well, Pat, thanks so much for oh, joining me today. I appreciate me. it, and good luck with the race. Thank you. All right. Uh, if you have something that you'd like to see on the Perm Show, just get a hold of me, Gail Langner, and you can call me at 841-2094. Thanks, and have a great day.